Sorry, throw that anywhere. I saw this burning go, oh, oh my god, I have to get this tool on. I do have to get your, your professional assistance though. It's, um, I'll, I will give it to you. Um, I, I need to find something similar to what we got.
All right, so there's a couple things I want to go over here on this last part of the video. Um, I got a lot of people on the boat, and they're all talking, and um, you can't really understand what's going on. But my uh, my wife and I, Alon, uh, my first mate, she has um, we kind of we've gotten this this relationship <clears throat> on the boat where we know what each other's doing. So there isn't a lot of direction. I don't have to say anything to her. She doesn't have to say anything to me. We pretty much know what we're what we're gonna do. So she knows that once we get to a spot where we're going, um, for instance, that wall up there where that boat is passing right now, uh, we're going to need defenders down low because the wall is low. Uh, we're going to need two lines, one on the, one on the bow, one on the stern. Uh, so she said to me, you know, just before he stood up there, she said uh, on the deck, and that just means don't make any, you know, crazy movements to knock her off the deck. So she gets the lines out and puts one on the tran or on the uh, rear cleat and a fender hanging from the rear rail, and then she heads up to the bow and she puts a fender on and, and a very long line. And the long line is uh, is something that she uh, decided to start doing because um, when you hand your line to somebody on the on the dock to help you, nine times out of ten they're gonna try to pull it. And you know even if you try to tell them not to, they start to get nervous because they see the boat starting to move. So they just start to pull and that just really throws off your momentum and, and you know what you're trying to do. So as you'll see here, she's going to let this line, she's going to let a lot of slack out and she's going to hand it. She, if there's somebody on the dock, which there is coming up, uh, she'll hand it to him. But if there's not, she has this big long loop that she can just kind of toss down and you know grab a cleat with. And then she can grab the bitter end of the line and then uh, do what she's about to do. So what she's going to do here is she's going to tie off that line. She's just telling my, uh, my, my buddy in the back there to lower the fender. Uh, she's going to tie this line off, and she's going to get a bunch of slack here. And now this guy came up, and he's going to try to help us here. So what she's going to do is she's going to politely tell him, hey, don't pull the line. Just take it and just loop it over this cleat here, and then, uh, and then you, know, you, know, just, you don't have to do anything from there. So she's going she's gonna to hand this guy the line here. And then he's just going to drop it over the top of this cleat, just like that. And then she takes the other line, the other end of the line, and now she's good. Now what she does is she can control what the bow is doing. So, for instance, she's not going to yank on the boat, making the bow go towards the wall, but she's going to keep pressure on it. So if the bow starts to try to move out, like see how it's kind of trying to trickle away there, she can stop it. She can just hold the hold pressure on the line and just stop it as I ease the stern in. So now you can see the stern is going in, and then my buddy Rick is in the back there, and he just looped it around his cleat, and now he's uh, relaying it up to her that he is he is up against the cleat, nice and tight, and then she's going to go ahead and tighten off her line, and that's it. We're in, we're good, everything's great. So that's kind of how the that's kind of how me and her do the docking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.